Hey guys, it's Robin the Lady Biker. How is everyone doing today? Well, packing up for another moto camping trip. This time I'm going to be connecting up partway through the trip with the camping queens here in Perth. And they're always a fun group. But as I'm packing and I'm planning for the next few trips, it's got me to thinking about ticking off bucket list items and how, you know, some people are never going to do it. So let's talk about that a little bit. All right, well, hey guys, as I said, this next trip I've got planned is just a short little trip. It's just for the weekend. Well, actually it's gonna be a little bit more because I extended my trip. I'm gonna do part of it solo and then later on the trip, um, the camping queens come in and, and it's a co-ed one. So Allie's gonna be joining us too. But, you know, it's got me to thinking about bucket list items. I mean, I never thought I'd be living in Australia and being on this side of the world with the opportunity to do some of the things that I'm being given to do. And I'm realizing that as even though my bucket list item is getting bigger, I'm ticking them off. I'm having these experiences and having a fantastic time doing them. But even as I'm planning some of the big trips, and there will be a video coming up about all the big trips that I've got coming up soon. Um, but there's a lot of people in our groups that are coming up with reasons not to embark on these. And it's really kind of making me sad because, you know, some of them are very valid reasons. And some of them are valid for some trips. But when it's trip after trip after trip, it makes me realize that they're not reasons anymore. They're excuses. And... You know, it's really sad that people are allowing these things to stop them from having experiences that are, you know, once in a lifetime kind of things. So I want to kind of share with you the four main reasons I hear for people who say that, you know, well, I, I, I just can't take that bucket list item. Okay, reason number one. Well, I just really shouldn't spend the money. Okay, this is not, I can't, I don't have the money because guys, that's a, that's a valid reason. You know, life happens, job changes, illnesses, cars breaking down, and you can name a number of things. And sometimes the money simply is not there, but it's when the money is there or you have like some of these trips where we're looking there, we're planning two years out so that we can have the money it's, then it's an excuse. So why shouldn't you spend the money? What, what's more, you know, and maybe there is a reason, but I'm finding with so many of these, it's not so much a reason as a, it's some kind of fear and they're allowing the excuse of money to stop them. Number two, very similar, but still a little different. Uh, it, it's just not the right time. Okay, that's fair. Uh, everything from young children to aging parents to being a full-time caregiver, you know, things going on in a career, whether you're building it or changing it, you know, there are some things that may mean, okay, postponing something. But there again, it's not a, okay, I can't do it this year, but next year I'll be able to do it. So when y'all play next year's trip, I want to go. That's different. That's a reason. The excuse is as well, it's just not the right time. Okay, why not? Why allow life's momentum, I guess, for lack of a better term, dictate your life instead of you choosing your life? Boy, am I getting philosophical or what? Woof. Okay, let's go on to number three. Number three. Oh gosh, what was this one? Oh, this one. Okay. I don't know where to start. Okay, that's not me saying that. that that's the excuse I'm being given. And that one I can totally get because I had that, that same excuse for a long time. 
I don't know where to, I don't know where to start to learn how to ride. I don't know where to start on picking camping gear or places to go. I, uh, gosh, what were some of the others? Um, you know, I, I don't know how to plan a trip like that. You know, yeah, I was lucky that I have Allie who has had experiences that were very different from mine. And we've been able to share with each other and teach each other. I've also been fortunate enough to meet a group, a couple different groups of women that are very adventurous who get out and do all these wild and crazy things. And, you know, I can lean on their experiences and learn from them because sometimes just taking that very first step is the most terrifying, but not taking it. Now you're just denying yourself the opportunity to live and to live in have fun and have experiences and do these wild and crazy things that other people look at you and go, I don't know how you do that, <laughs> but you have a blast doing it. But kind of as a follow on and it's, it's similar. It, it's related to the, I don't know where to start. It's the, but, but, but what if, okay. The ones I've heard are, well, what if I do it and I get hurt? Or what if I do it and I get lost? Or what if I, if I do it and realize I don't have everything I need? Okay, well, what if you do it and have the best time of your life? You know, the first time we went camping, moto camping, we had maybe 60% of what we really needed. And we've just kind of figured out what works for us from there. Um, first time I flew international or I lived international, I didn't know what I was doing, but I got out and I just did it. Oh, that brings up another one. Well, what if I'm, if I'm, you know, outside the country and, and I don't know the culture and do something to offend someone. All right. Well guys, after having lived in two countries outside the U S have traveled over many different areas in the world. The one thing I have learned for the most part, there are exceptions, but for the most part, if people truly know that you're grateful and happy to be where you're at and you're trying to understand and learn about where you're at, people are generous and kind and they will bend over backwards to help you. One of our favorite things was always to like when we were in Greece, we would always ask every place we went and spent any time for them to teach us one word in Greek and something about where we were, their history, whether it be family or the location or whatever. And people get to talking and then before you know it, you've made these new friends and it is worth it. I'm telling you, it is so worth it. So guys, I want to keep this one fairly short today. And it brings me around to one. Thank you for staying with me. If you're still watching this video, you mean so much to me, those of you that do. So the question of the day is, are you ticking off your bucket list items or are you allowing life to kind of carry you along and you look back a year later and realize you haven't done any of them? And are you willing to change? So, all right, guys. I got some packing to do because I'm leaving in the morning. When you see me next time, I will probably be either on the way or in Lake Brockman. Um, going to be doing some camping solo first, and then everybody else will join me a, a little bit later. Um, so I got some packing to do. So you know, guys, get out and ride. When you do, have fun. Be safe. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.